Hello, and welcome to an overview of the Destinations International Event Impact Calculator Sports Module. In this session, we'll talk about conducting event impacts for a sports type event and a quick read through of the results. To get started, log on to the calculator and start a new event calculation. To get to the sports module, scroll down to event type and select sports. Immediately, another drop-down appears with the five sports types. Youth amateur, adult amateur, college, professional, and championship type events. As the user considers the appropriate event type, an understanding of the characteristics the calculator considers for each sports type is warranted. The quick advice is to use the sports type that best reflects the majority of the participants or attendees to the event. For example, if the event is mainly adults with some children, a la a fun run or similar, adult amateur will still be the best selection for that type of event. Also, consider some of the defaults built into each sports type. Youth amateur events will have the highest number of attendees per participant, and the largest persons per room defaults. College events <clears throat> have the lowest per person spending and person per room defaults, while championship type events have the longest length of stay and highest level of spending due to the ticket prices. Championship selection should be limited to those events that are one-off and have at minimum a multi-state attraction base for their attendance. So select the appropriate sports type and move on to the visitor calculation method. One big difference in the sports module compared to the other modules is the ability to estimate attendees based on limited information. When building the sports module, DMOs told us that they don't always have the solid count of attendees at sports events like they do for meetings or conventions. The sports module provides several ways to get around the limited information issue by providing three sports visitor calculation methods. The direct entry, participant-based, and admission-based. Which visitor calculation you select will be based on two things. Where is the largest impact of the event coming from? And what information is available to the DMO? If the majority of the impacts of the event are coming from the participants of the event, or if the DMO is only told the number of participants, then the participant-based method is the obvious selection. Similarly, if attendance is the only metric provided to the DMO, admission-based selection is the appropriate selection. For the participant-based section, the user will enter in the number of participants, check the spectators per participant default to feel comfortable with its level, enter in an overnight share, And the calculator provides the overnight and day visitation split. For the admission-based method, <clears throat> user will enter in an average admission for each individual event, which should be thought of as the average number of tickets sold with each event needing a separate ticket. The number of events, again, think of the number of tickets that an individual would need to attend all events the number of events per visitor, and the calculator provides the unique spectator to this event. Adding in the participant number and an overnight share then provides the calculator with the overnight and day visitor counts for the event evaluation. The direct method is similar to what you all are familiar with in the meetings module, where you're just entering the exact number of overnight and day attendees to the event. With the attendance number now set, the user also enter in, in the dates of the event and a room rate. Key point number one, when entering in the event dates, only use the dates that the event is actually occurring. Do not include shoulder dates. This will overstate 
the value of the event. So for instance in here, we have the example of a tournament happening over a weekend in July. Despite the fact that many attendees or participants to this particular event may be coming in Friday to stay in a hotel uh, to be able to participate in this particular event, we would not want to add in Friday as the start date if the games or event is only going on on the Saturday and Sunday for this particular event. <clears throat> Again, user help is offered for each event parameter by clicking on the question mark next to the entry field. A pop-up box with help for that field appears with definitions and hints on the appropriate entry for that field. More general help can be found clicking on the help and documentation section on the left. Should the user have more information on the event, they may enter in they may enter them in the other available fields. For instance, should there be hosting costs borne by the DMO in putting on the event, they may be entered in the hosting cost fields after pressing the hosting cost tabs. Similarly, should the user have information on the local spending of the organizer, those spending streams can be entered in the organizer spending tab in the appropriate field. Finally, the user can modify the tax rates used in the calculation of the event by clicking on the Tax and Assessment Rates tab. Note that the rate defaults are already entered in. The DMO does not need to re-enter those rates. Once the user is satisfied with all their entries, they can click on the Save and Calculate button on the bottom to be able to get the event impacts. At the top of the page are the event highlights, including the basic event parameters and key finding for business sales, employment, and tax results. The bottom two-thirds contains the spending detail in both graphical and numeric terms. Spending is also broken out both by industry of spending and by the source of the spending, whether it's the attendees, organizer, or media sponsors. The second page of the report provides information on the impacts of the event in detail. Direct and total impacts are provided for business sales, employment, income, and taxes, with taxes broken out both by level of government and by type of tax. The return, of an, the return on investment of the event, if the user has entered in hosting costs, is calculated in the next section with the room demand of the event at the bottom of the second page. We hope this video has provided some background support and information regarding the sports module in the Destinations International Event Impact Calculator. Destinations International and Tourism Economics are here to, su to support the calculator, answering any questions and listening to your comments and feedback. Please do not hesitate to contact us with any further questions or support.